this is the most debated topic of the last two years. Elon Musk is making news predicting that artificial intelligence could leave everyone unemployed. Adding to the tens of thousands of workers in the industry who find themselves unemployed. What is the future of software development? Will AI take over? Is coding from scratch still relevant? Mobile app with no coding experience. Low code, no code. It is our job to create computing technology such that nobody has to program. What's up guys and welcome back to Builder Central, your go-to place for no-code, low-code content. People regular to the channel, they know very well that we don't miss a chance to tell you how useful no-code tools are. But let me ask you guys something. What does the future of technology hold? Well, some say it's robotics, others AI, but what I feel is when it comes to the working world, the most significant change that we're going to see is the shift from an era of hard coding to the world of no-codes. So today, let's talk about the future of software development as in how no-code tools are making software development an effortless task. Hence, saving money, resources, and time as well, and also maybe replacing some developers. Check out this tweet by Andy Jassy, the CEO of Amazon. The tweet tells us how the company's Gen AI assistant, Amazon Q, has revolutionized software development by significantly reducing Java upgrade time from 50 days to mere hours, saving 4,500 developer years. To put this into perspective, imagine 450 developers working day and night for the next 10 years. Yes, along with saving so much time, they also generated $260 million in efficiency gains. This shows how no-code tools have taken over conventional coding and somehow are trying to replace full-stack developers as well. So according to this article, BrainHub claims that programming will undergo a radical change in the future. It says, with a combination of AI, machine learning, natural language processing, and code generation, by 2040, technology will advance in such a way that machines, instead of humans, will write the codes. The article also points out the pressing issue that is how software developers are worried about the future of their jobs. In fact, nearly 30% of the 550 software developers surveyed by Evans Data Corporation, a California-based market research firm that specializes in software development, believes that its development efforts will be replaced by artificial intelligence in the foreseeable future. Well, let's look at it this way. You're a working professional, okay? So regardless of any industry that you're associated with, you aspire to upgrade and it's obvious because it's a basic human desire. No one wants to get stuck in the same position all their lives, at least not in this generation. We humans are meant for change and adaptation. So says our DNA. People adapt and people learn. And we have all been doing so since ages, be it the industrial revolution, world war, globalization, inflation, and even technology for that matter. We humans have witnessed it all and moved on. All the programmers and developers need to understand the change happening around them and not to get mad about it. Like I said in the earlier video, change is inevitable. Things are gonna change for the better and people are gonna adjust and learn. So rather than stressing about what the future would look like, it's better if coders choose to explore and learn these no-code platforms. So what will happen is businesses hiring no-code engineers will give preference to coders who have adapted to no-code platforms rather than someone with no background in coding at all. Adapting to the change will eventually safeguard the insecurities that the coders are having towards their jobs. Well, that's that. But how did no-code tools rise all of a sudden? This happened because of many factors. For now, let's talk about a few, especially the important ones. So the demand rose, obviously, because of the technological shift that's happening across various industries. This digital transformation compelled businesses to opt for tools that could do their work with ease and in less time. Not only that, but these tools also saved money for the businesses. Just imagine the amount of money it takes from hiring a developer to launching an application, all cut down to subscribing to a plan that these tools offer. Also, not to miss out on their customization options, which is way cool and a lot easier than you can imagine. For example, let's consider Zoho Creator, a low-code platform and their contribution to helping a non-profit organization in Indonesia called Food Cycle. Now, what they did was they helped the non-profit organization tackle the issue of hunger and food wastage by digitizing their core processes, scaling their operations, and helping reach more people. The result was a food cycle hub, a custom Zoho creator solution that revolutionized the way they work. This powerful tool empowers the food cycle team to plan and execute campaigns, store donor information, manage inventory, gauge supply and demand, and coordinate logistics all from a single place. Food Cycle's success story showcases the incredible potential of local technology in driving social change and addressing global challenges. Another example is Shopify. Shopify helps small businesses build an online store and sell online through one streamlined dashboard. 
Isn't it cool? And less tedious too. Consider using applications like Zoho Creator and Shopify for your businesses and then come back and tell us if we're wrong. Because we believe that no-code tools are better than traditional coding. Now, talking about the impact that the no-code tools are creating globally, let's look into the graph here. The global no-code AI platform was estimated to be around $3.8 billion in 2023 and is projected to grow at a CAGR of 30.6% from 2024 to 2030. Every day there is an increase in the use of no-code tools, with North America dominating the no-code AI platform market with a revenue share of 39.5% in 2023. The surge in the use of no-code tools is because of their several prominent AI enterprises in this region. This is quite evident as the region has excellent R&D expertise and has significantly invested in AI-related technologies. Well, to sum it up, I would like to state that almost every industry is adapting to no-code technology. And this is because of the rise in demand for technical tools and infrastructures like websites, mobile applications, desktop applications, etc. No matter what the need, goal or requirement, businesses across verticals are using platforms and services services that are offering code-free development solutions. And this is happening all around the world, in almost every major country across the globe. Overall, no-code technology is helping businesses accelerate their services by automating workflows, streamlining customer services, and reaching several other goals in a faster and more affordable way. Remember, the no-code industry is huge and is growing and expanding every day. And as far as the future of software development is concerned, no-code tools will be the go-to thing. That's it for today, guys. If you are new, make sure you subscribe for more such videos. If you like this video, press the like button and share it with your folks and family. Comment if you have any queries regarding no-code tools. And also, if you haven't watched our last video, make sure you check it out over here. See you in the next video. And until then, keep building.